In this video, we're going to look at what an array is. So I'm going to launch in the IRB here, and let me just quickly create an array so I can talk about it. The main thing I wanted to get into this video is not so much how to create an array. There's other videos that are little talk a little bit more about that. The main thing I want to talk about is what an array really is. And in many cases, in, when you're programming, you want to store a set of data and you don't want to have to access it from a file or you know off of a website or something like that you actually want to store it in the memory of the computer that the program is running on and you want to store it in a structured manner so that you can get access to that data in in some manner in your program now the way that's done is using this construct called an array and it's where you take a set of information like here we have four integers and they're stored in a certain structure the syntax here and they're assigned to one variable now that variable points to essentially the beginning element of that array and it's probably confusing the people when they first get in the programming that they somehow assume that this is storing all of these values and it's really not how it works is this is just pointing to where this array is stored and because the Ruby interpreter understands that to be an array if we do an array dot class we can see it knows it's an array it's gonna look and say okay it has these attributes that go along with it so if we do AR well let's do Y remember that Take, shows us a YML view of these methods and I'm just going to sort them so they look neat. Um, call the right thing. So here's all the methods that Array responds to and there's a whole bunch because the, this is one of the main programming constructs that is used in programming to manipulate data. So you're comparing data, inserting data, deleting data, uh, looking at the data, comparing it it, the type of the class of the data all those different things so you have all these numerous methods associated with this class and some of them will cover in other videos here but the main thing to understand about an array is that and get to back up here that it is holding this structure of data it, it can be just one it can be none but it's really meant to hold a structure of an amount of data now in most operating systems this has to be true where all of these have to be the same type now in, in the newest version of Java you can they have generics now so you can get away from that but Ruby has that so I can actually put put in a, a string in here I can put in a float and we could put a symbol in here and this is going to be perfectly happy because Ruby assumes you as the programmer know what you're doing and that you're not going to try to use the second element of this array as a integer you, you, or if you are you're going to convert it to an integer first before trying to do anything with it that it's up to you to know that's a string and you're going to deal with it that way so it leaves the responsibility with you and it gives you a tremendous amount of flexibility in the way that you store data because you can create your own arrays holding different data structures so that's kind of an introduction to arrays in other videos we're gonna look at more in-depth creating and accessing arrays and manipulating them a little bit more